let's uh, use Fast Tone Capture to actually do all this for us. Gonna zoom in to get as much of the section as I can. That's pretty good. Okay. And this one we want uh, capture window object. We're just going to put the mouse here in the window. Okay, there we go. We want just this section. Okay, now we've got the section into uh, Fast Tone Capture. And probably what we'll first want to do is create a caption. And I'm just going to copy everything I have here. To do a little editing. Okay, we're going to add a caption to this picture. Here's the land description, which is rather nice. And we're actually going to uh, color this in. So we're going to use the draw feature. Okay, we know this is section 29. And the first one he had was the southeast corner. Southeast. Down and to the right of this little dot. And what I found useful is I, the colored rectangle. I use a red color, background yellow, and pull the opacity down a little bit. Really shows it up when you make this. And we let go. We can still see the terrain underneath, but we know that's where it was at. Next one, he had the north half of the southwest corner. So, north half of the southwest corner, southwest, north half. And if you look, you can actually see the fence line. Fences and roads are a good indication that that's where the boundaries are. So we're going to pull that over and that's about where it's at. Now that's pretty nice but why don't we add some dates. Okay. Want 1926. You can actually put in the whole date if you want. Create a little box. 1828, let me double check. Ah, 26. And then we can do just a little adjustment to make it more centered. Next one was 1931. Pick up a font. Nineteen thirty one. And like I said, you can always add the full date. So we know George Connor, he first homesteaded this piece of land, and he added a, another part. So, now we've done the editing, <laughs> always make sure to click OK. I've made that mistake a few times, not clicking it. And it's ready to be printed or saved. Print. Orients it on the page for you. But we're not going to print. If you want to save it. Okay, now let's just give this a name. Yeah, 
And we can choose a format. I would probably recommend ping, TIFF, or PDF. If he's going to email it, PDF is nice. Ping has a little better compression. And I hate to say it, but JPEG is just lossy, and this uh, really makes the picture look worse. So I'd probably save it as a PDF. Okay. Now let's uh, open it up. Okay, now we have it open. We've got a good uh, land description there. We get to see what the land looks like. And something you, this is something you can share with your uh, family. And it really brings your genealogy to life when you can actually see where your ancestors lived. So, I hope you enjoy.